We're back here again with yet another review and today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Mattel toys Masters of the universe revelations Masterverse Tila beast man and merman now These are, are so hard to find at first and then they like hit and they hit everywhere like they're peg warmers which sucks because it makes me worried about the line like as a whole like I really don't want this line to end like I want them to keep making more um and these figures look fantastic not my favorite design for merman hope we get like an, a classic version and then I would pick up like two more of these and have them be like soldier or like another one of these and have them be soldiers for that merman I don't know we'll see but um these all look great the box art on the sides on this side you just get uh, they're regular things and then on the back of each you get some fucking awesome artwork like look at how sick that is You get a cool read up there um, Really really cool. You get the new wave, which I'm not gonna be getting he-man and Skeletor. I don't really care about them There's the barcode for merman and then you get some even more awesome artwork on the side there man These look so good. I damn I wish they would do a big poster, but yeah, there's that weird box for Tila beautiful artwork uh, There is the read up for her barcode for her love that artwork but i think i like the one on the side a little bit more because that's my favorite look for her so that looks super super badass and then finally we have oops we have beast man this is the 40th year of he-man anniversary you get this is the new eternia one not the revelation one so this is like i think supposed to be like a concept series look at that artwork holy shit that is so nice he swing can we get these guys that would be cool but this is the new, new wave. Not even, like, out hitting yet. This is, like, the new wave. Catra and Zodak, I will definitely be picking up. Do I know anything about either one of them? Nope. Still going to be getting them anyway for the shelf. So there's his read-up, and then here's his barcode. Now, I found Merman and Beastman at Target, but I went to a local comic book store to pick up Tila. But without further ado, let's go ahead and pop these bad guys open. So, getting these three out of the package, man, they are more solid figures from the line, at least in my opinion. I love this line. Is it the most unique and most, you know, I don't know. I, I fucking love it. I, I think the fact that it stays at $19.99, swaps out enough parts, yeah, it's a reuse, but Masters of the Universe was made on reuse. I don't know. They don't overcharge you for reuse because you get a shit ton of new accessories all the time. Like, every figure pretty much comes with different accessories. Uh, you always get interchangeable hands, always get different heads. Only $19.99. Very, very happy with it. Tons of good paint apps. Um, pretty good articulation. So, big fan of this line. This is always, this is the Master of the Universe line I've always wanted. Pinless joints all the time. No questions asked. But, without further ado, I'm going to go from favorite, or least favorite to favorite. And... You know, just kind of run through, give you the quick rundown. We're not going to be here too, too long. I'm not going to keep you guys forever. Uh, but, you know, we got it. We, we know how it rolls. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Merman. Now, again, this isn't a bad figure by any means. It's just my least favorite of the bunch because this isn't my most favoritist design of him. I like when he has the chest pauldron thing. I like when he has two eyes. But, eh, you know, you know, this is the revelation look, and I'm still going to get it because it's a new character. So, he the face tampo for what is there looks really good. I like the painted scar on there. Speaking of painted scars, I like all of them. And he has a new upper torso with gills on the back for, like, the the shoulder pad, like, the shoulder blades, uh, the gills up top, which look really cool. And he's got this awesome texture across the body. The lower torso seems to be reuse. The shoulders and arms might actually be new they look a little bit skinnier than they usually do and i don't have anybody here to compare them to unfortunately i am at home but um the belt and waist is new it's got like that kelpy look but it has like over paint on it like it has like paint over it you get this metallic orange on the sides and then you get the sword sticking to my arm you get the shin pads that look really good you get blue gold and orange and then the toes are painted as well wish the fingernails were painted just like the toes but unfortunately they're not but you get scars on the arms the shoulder even on his back look at that hasbro you can paint the back of your figures who fucking knew but on the back i think it looks awesome so i love the color that they used for him 
It looks really cool. And, you know, his build looks good. I think his neck, I don't know, something about his head maybe looks a little small. Like, I know this whole line, their heads look kind of small, but his in particular. And then you do get, for accessories, we're just going to go right into accessories. You get his trident, or I guess, dident? <laughs> I don't know what you would call that. But it's got two prongs. It's got the orange wrapped around it. Looks very nice. I will say... Um, it's a little loose in his hand and he kind of holds it at a weird angle, but not bad enough to make me not like it. Just, I think it could have been done a little bit better. You get a pair of fist hands, which is great. And they're all, you know, gilled up. And then you get a pair of open hands, which I love. I love. So definitely going to be using the tried the Dyden. I don't know what to call that. And open hand combo because they're red hands it's fucking awesome and then you do get like this sword thing which i probably won't be using for him but it is cool to get nonetheless uh and he can hold this pretty well as as well it's a little loose in his hand it's got that weird grip thing so i don't know pretty good overall so yeah i think he looks good decent amount of accessories uh as far as articulation is concerned the head is gonna look up more than most actually he looks up pretty far Ooh. Take two. He looks down that far. Swivels, pivots, shoulder goes up, down, rotate 360, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then the wrist swivel and hinge. The torso goes side to side, and then it'll swivel at the waist. He'll crunch forward, back, hips move out that far. He'll kick forward this far, back that far, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees like all they get the shin rotation and then the ankles do move down up and pivot so pretty standard articulation always wish that the torso was a double ball peg up here uh so you could rotate up there and get a little bit more and then i wish that there was a ball peg in there instead of just a swivel but other than that the articulation is pretty perfect especially for somebody like merman next up let's take a look at teela now Usually the female figures are my favorite ones out of the waves because I think Mattel does their female figures right. Double jointed pinless elbows, no question. And I know Hasbro's starting to get into that, but how long did it take for us to complain for them to even do that? Mattel's been doing it forever, guys, let me tell you. Um, the great amount of paint, great amount of articulation, pinless joints. They look like females. They don't just look like stupid generic weird things. Sometimes, I'm not saying all Hasbro figures are like that, but, uh, and I think the face sculpts are really good. Taking a look at this face sculpt, I think it's good. I think just my headband is glued on like sideways, so I might pry it off, fix it a little bit, because just something looks a little off. I don't think it's her face. I think it's the hair. It just looks a little weird, but I like it nonetheless. Um, I like all the different colors of gold and yellow and the body. This is a brand new sculpt. The legs are also new. Uh, I like all the tampa. It looks very, very good. The gold is bright and shiny. I don't know how good it's coming out on camera, but it is good in person. Um, you get like a soft uh, rubbery piece for the kilt or the skirt, I guess. I don't really know. A um, little gappy right there, I, I think. I don't know if that's on everybody's, but the connection point on mine is not good. Um, they do rotate though, so it doesn't really bother me. And then you get like a cool leathery texture with a glossy coat for the boots there. Um, so yeah, she looks awesome, I think. Again, I really like the face sculpt. I just think that my thing got glued on differently. And wow. It's magic. They painted the back. Who knew? Very detailed on the back, too. So, brand new sculpt. Looks very nice. She does come with a good amount of accessories as well, including an alternate head without the tiara and the hair down. And that actually looks a lot better than I thought. Obviously, our articulation is going to be a little bit more limited on this one, and it is tight because it's not, like, fully, you know, I got to work it in a little bit. But it looks good. Um, I think the face sculpt is very good on that. I mean, you know, she looks angry. The hair down looks good. There's a wash in there. Applied pretty good. It's a little splotchy right there. But honestly, that looks really, really cool. And then to go with that, you're going to get, oh, spoiler alert, you're going to get interchangeable hands. You get a grip hand for the left side and then a fisty fist for the right. Did I say left? Yeah, left and right. Um, wish we got a full set of fist hands, but eh, you know, whatever. So for me, this gets popped out. This gets put in, and then the shield. Uh, it's just that stupid marbly molded plastic. Not a big fan of that, but slide that in, Captain America style. Um, kind of like pry the fingers open and then let them subside back onto that. Boom. 
grabbing the shield. And then finally she comes with her sword, of course. And that looks really good. You get some paint on the end there. The grip looks good, the gold, and then the silver is nice and bright. Give that to her other grippity grip hand and boom. For me, I definitely like the classic looking head a lot more. I know in the Revelation show, she didn't look like this too much, but for me, this is what I like to see. I think the grip hand could have been done a little bit better for her hand. She doesn't hold it great on the shield. For the sword, it's fine, but yeah, that is the look that I'm going to be using for Tila. That looks so, so cool. At least for me, it does. I, I skipped on the armored, like, new one because I wanted this version. I knew this was coming out. By the time that that one was hitting, first hitting, this one got revealed. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to wait for this, and I'm happy that I did. It looks very good. And since this is a new body, we're going to go ahead over articulation. The head moves up, down, pivot side to side, and we'll rotate. Shoulders move up, down, rotate 360. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Pinless, might I add, and a wrist swivel and hinge. Wish it was a vertical hinge. I'll admit Hasbro is very good with that. Um, well, usually. You got a pivot at the top, which pivots pretty far. She actually crunches far decently, not back too much. And then you get an underdone waist swivel, which is completely hidden, so very well done. The hips kind of have that weird thing from wave one where it like gets locked and you have to like push down. Not sure why they did that. Uh, swivel at the thigh goes up for the double jointed pinless knees and then the swivel at the boot ankle goes up down and pivot so very good articulation especially for a female figure i think they articulate their females better than the guys to be honest but yeah very well done now teela would have been number one if i didn't find this guy before i made this video fuck this guy's sick i have one little complaint about him but everything else about him is awesome now like i said this is not from revelation this is from the new attorney line um so this is like a new thing that they're starting where like i guess it's like concept or comic book stuff i'm not really sure let me know um but this looks like a classic beast man to me um i like the revelation design i have that figure there actually is a review of that one on my channel so if you want to watch that um go check that out on there um you know, if you want to compare it, um, you know, you might want to do that because they are pretty different, actually. I actually think he's a new body mold. He looks bigger. Like, maybe I'm tripping. Let me know if he's the same body mold. But, like, the hands look more proportionate because this body just looks bigger. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But taking a look at that head sculpt here. Fuck, that looks awesome. Like, paint very well done. Looks just like the old vintage figure. That is so cool. And then you get the real fur, which is super, super soft. Um, done on there. You get some gray for like this, some metallic stuff on there. You get a little skull. Looks awesome. All this fur sculpted on there is great. You get all these pads, which are removable, which I'm okay with that for a reason that I'll explain in a little bit. But that looks super cool. They're all painted with the spikes. They have this leathery texture. He's got a wash all across his body. You got this nice blue on this side. This belt goes under. Um, kind of goes like, it's supposed to lean like that, and you get like his blue loincloth with all this cool design in there. It looks super, super sick. The sides look good with this, uh, with these popping out. All the nails are painted, even on the thumbs, on the, uh, fist hands, which look great. You get a little bit of spiky action on the side there. The body is kind of like a different color from the rest of it, which is a little off-putting, but since it's like mostly covered, it's not too, too bad. Um, then you get like the leathery pads on the shins which also look very good. And then you get the toesies with the hairy feet and the toes done. And look at the skin detail on the bottom. That is so fucking cool. He just looks so badass. Um, and like, just he looks like a menace, like just a straight menace. Um, as far as accessories go, he does come with a bunch. He comes with this classic looking over piece. So what you're going to do is pop this off here at this tab. And then this just kind of like lifts over his head and slides off. And then you do the same thing, just in reverse. Um, you might want to pop his head off. I mean, you really don't need to, I don't think. Um, but you can if you want. Maybe get a tad bit easier. And then you put these straps under here and clip that John right there. Now, that's supposed to be, like, classic Beast Man. I think that looks a little weird, looks a little small. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm definitely going to be using this big Mamma Jamma. Um, and then you could put this weird little helmet thing on as well i think this the helmet thing is supposed to go with this but it doesn't really click in the head too well so i guess i have two kind of little problems because i'll get to the other one in a second but eh, 
I'm not a big fan of that. If you're into that, go for it. That's all you. But for me, I mean, it looks cool for what it's supposed to be, but it's just not my favorite look for Beastman. Um, he does come with two grip hands, so you can have him dual wield his weapons, which I'll show in a second. And he comes with one fist and one open. I think for the price point of $35, these accessories are good, but we get a lot of accessories. I think now looking at it without this on it, I think this is reuse. I think they just meant to make the hands a little bit smaller. Um, I think for that price of $35, we needed a full set of open and fist hands. That's my biggest complaint about the figure. Um, but, you know, not the end of the world because I need at least one grip hand to hold his signature weapon. We have the whip with the rope on it. Super, super nice. Um, very well done. A bendy wire would be absolutely incredible. Like NECA did it with their phantom figure, but unfortunately we're not that lucky with this but the silver paint is nice and the grip hands do hold it because they are um softer so they'll kind of you know grip it if i could get it in the hand but yep there you go so boom looks awesome and then you know you just pop that out and then finally he comes with this big ass negan style bat uh, and I like this a lot, too. He can hold this well. It's a little heavy in his hand, so it might not, like... Like, the hand kind of, like, falls down sometimes. You have to angle it right. But the sculpt is really good. It looks like it's a separate piece, so the paint is very clean. Like, it looks like there's just sculpt for this part. And then they put the wood part, like, over it, like, and close it together. Because you can see the seams on both sides. But that looks awesome. And him holding it looks great, too. So, very happy with the spread of accessories. Just like I said, I think I would have preferred a uh a pair of fist hands like a full set of fist hands and a full set of you know um like openly hands and then you can store some weapon back here so like if you want to put the whip there uh, i don't think the mace is going to fit there or if it does it'll look kind of ugly yeah i don't think that's going to fit in there so yeah looks pretty good overall uh, or it, like, has a good a span of accessories. Just, like I said, some hands would have been nice. And then as far as articulation, the head looks up all the way. That's freaking awesome. Head looks down. Pivot side to side and rotate. Shoulders move up, down. Rotate 360. Bicep swivel. These pads do come off. I'm not going to take them all off because that's a pain in the ass to get the back on. But double jointed elbows that go all the way. Pinless. Pinless, 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 might I add. And then the wrist swivel and hinge. The torso is very good on this guy. He'll crunch forward pretty far because, you know, he's got to have that lurky pose. Back a little bit, rotate at the waist, pivot a little bit at the top. Um, hips are going to move outwards that far. Down, he'll kick forward, goes out a little bit. Down, swivel at the thigh, double jointed pinless knees, and then shin swivel, which is hidden by the strap, so I like that. And then the ankles do move down, up, and pivot. They're a little stiff, and I don't want to break it right now, so... He looks and moves very well, at least for Beast Man. As far as scale goes, Beast Man's obviously bigger. I don't have He Man here to compare him because unfortunately I am home right now. But here they are next to Sleepwalker. So obviously their seven inch scales are a little bit bigger. He's not going to fit in with them, but you know, they're pretty standard for the line. So you're probably wondering, yo, Ant, what are you thinking of these figs? And I got to say, another solid set. I'm happy that I was able to find all these that. Uh, that are out right now and review them together there's a couple things hitting soon i can't wait for shira like very excited to get my hands on that one i that was on my wish list sun man i'm very excited for but i don't think he's going to be coming out soon like two of the five that i wanted from this line are on the way so i'm very happy about that he makes me want an army trooper of the other mer people um we need a classic actually he's pretty good um, sorceress, please. Can we get a sorceress? Why, why is that not a thing yet? Why is that not a thing? But overall, they are freaking awesome. He's gonna get a seven out of ten. Just not a big fan of this design. They did what they needed to, but I just don't really like it. Beast Man is gonna get an eight out of ten because of the price point being a little bit higher. Uh, I'm not a fan of this, so I could have done without that. The mace is okay. Not really a big hat guy for this one. Um, I don't know. And Tila's going to get a 9 because there's really not much else I would change about it. I just think the QC could have been done a little bit better with the TR being a little off skew. But that's my story. And as Brad the DC Universe Geek would say, I'm sticking to it. So without further ado, that's all I got for today. So if you have not already, please do yourself the favor and me and like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it when you do so. Also, please be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're not already, I have a lot of fun over there and I'm sure you all will too. 
But as always, I'll leave you guys with the bearing question. You copping? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.